we're all a little bored these days, and for many of us, watching porn can be a welcome relief. Unfortunately, it can put your personal information, or at least your dignity, at risk. From avoiding data theft to setting up a VPN, there's definitely a safer way to do it. Here are four quick tips on how you can watch porn safely online. One of the easiest ways for your pornographic preferences to become public is the autocomplete self-own, a search engine or browser filling in a porn website name based on what you've been searching in the past. Especially in the age of Zoom meetings and screen sharing, it's important to use incognito mode when accessing online pornography so porn website addresses aren't stored and auto-populated when you least expect it. Going incognito will ensure your searches, pages you visited, cookies, and other data isn't saved to your device, but it's worth noting that incognito mode is still limited. Your traffic won't be safe from third parties, nor will it be secure from hackers or other attacks. And it should be noted that your browsing data can still be potentially monitored by your ISP, your employer, and clever attackers. We all know mass data collection is big business online, and it incentivizes the collection of huge amounts of detailed, personal information. But the porn you consume doesn't need to be anybody else's business but your own. To keep your internet traffic private when watching porn online, a VPN is going to be super useful. A VPN can prevent websites from seeing your real IP address or your location by rerouting traffic through a remote server, thus hiding your real IP address. It also encrypts traffic, so nobody, including your internet service provider, can see what you've been up to. We've got complete guides on PCMag.com on how to set up and use a VPN, as well as info about the best VPN services, so check those out to learn more about getting started with a VPN. Even if a pornographic website takes great care to protect its users, it can still become an unwitting vector for attack. Malicious ads might be purchased from a small ad company and then displayed on a pornographic website. Now, you probably feel pretty confident in your ability to avoid malicious ads, malicious downloads, malicious websites, malicious emails. Everyone does. But unfortunately, it's exactly those kind of people that keep hackers in business. To stay safe, you'll want to set up antivirus software. The best security software will identify files and malicious sites before they can cause any damage and even protect against the insidious threats of ransomware. Again, we've got roundups of all this on PCMag.com, so head over for all of your antivirus protection recommendations. And another general antivirus tip is pretty simple. Avoid downloading pornographic content and stream it instead, using a VPN. Last but certainly not least, stick with the big names and well-known sites. Though adult sites are safer than they were in the early days of the internet, the shady tactics used in those early days of online adult entertainment are still red flags to watch out for. For instance, a website that opens numerous windows or leads you down endless trails of links to access content is a bad website. Experts I spoke to cautioned against using small fringe sites peddling pornographic material. To stay safe, you should stick with well-known industry names. They're more likely to take care when handling personal information. If a site has a contact information, a business address, and a privacy policy, those can be good signs about its safety. Of course, any website could be dangerous, so use the same scrutiny you normally would for a pornographic website, like suspicious URLs, using HTTP instead of HTTPS, and weird, overly vague information. Look, life is already hard enough. Don't let the pleasure of pornography become just another dumpster fire.